Hello viewers. I really wasn't planning on doing another cage design. I don't really have any specific theme set up. However, because my skadoosh has gotten ill and is being treated, I did kind of set up some adaptations for her since she's not moving around real well. And an option is to set up a hospital cage, which I do have a smaller enclosure I can use that's their travel one, but I really don't have space to, to have that. So I made some adaptations in their cage. Mostly it's food sources and I lower the pouch a little bit. So the pouch was hanging up on the higher bar up there. I moved it down. It's closer to a shelf down here. So it's not a far jump to that. And then of course she can come down to the um, treadmill if she wishes or climbs down the bar. It's not really that far from the floor. I have of course their water, the open water source that's at floor level, which is where I had it. And they're feeding station over here, which is where their bowl of veggies went. I also moved a silo holder there and I will be putting their nectar in a silo. Now because she's sick and she's not eating well, I'm trying to feed her a little bit more frequently throughout the day. So I just put them back in the cage for, um, you know, after cage cleaning and I wanted to just offer her a little something before she goes to bed for the night. I do have the up top still pretty interesting because she does start feeling a little more peppy and for Ollie. So I put their little um, cabana here, their little toy box, hedgehog, and of course their upper water stations and the silo and then their regular fruit and veggie station will go in its normal place. They have a tunnel and a castle is down at the floor, which is actually where my little skadoosh has scampered off to. As you can see, she doesn't really look too well. Her tail's a little ragged, and she's not eating solid foods. So she's only three and a half days in of her antibiotics. Actually, tonight will be three and a half um, days of dosage. So I'm hoping and praying she um, overcomes whatever is going on with her and can enjoy the upper level fun area soon. Um, but anyway, so I just wanted to take this opportunity to show you some adaptations you can use if you do not have a hospital cage set up or you're in a situation where you don't really need one, but you want to make accommodations for a glider who's not quite so energetic and isn't getting around so well. All right. Well, thank you for watching. Have a great day.